Hey, it's AJ Lester here from UnleashAwesome.com. So today's topic is a little bit about personal success and a little bit about relationships and social success. And the topic is setting up your Facebook news feed to contribute to your success in life. Now, I should mention that when I say Facebook, what I'm really talking about is social media in general. And even though some of the aspects of this video will be talking about Facebook specifically, there's a lot of similarities between Facebook and all the other social media platforms. And so you'll be able to apply most of what you hear in this video to any kind of social media platform that you might use. So the first thing that I want to say up front is that I'm not a huge fan of social media in general. I believe it has got some good uses, but I also believe that it has a lot of destructive uh, outcomes. And so we need to be very careful with our social media use. And I do think that it's extremely overused and that, you know, there is a lot of people uh, or there are a lot of people exposing themselves to this destructive influence. So what I believe is that social media is best used as a tool where you are actually using it for benefit that serves you or perhaps other people rather than letting social media use you as a tool, just as a set of eyeballs that they can market to and get clicks and sell advertising and so forth. So I think first of all, it's really important to just mention that I don't recommend using social media in general, but if you are going to use it, I only recommend using it as a tool, not uh, using it in a way where you are the tool. You know, in other words, you are the master rather than the slave. That's the first thing I'll mention. And leading on from that, one of the problems with social media use, if you just do it unconsciously, is this effect which people talk about all the time, which is you, who, you are who you hang out with. And so if you hang around certain types of people a lot, then you tend to become a little bit more like them day by day the more time you spend with them. And this can actually be a phenomenon that you can use to your benefit or it can actually have a destructive effect. And social media is one avenue that allows that like a concentration of this phenomenon in your life. So for example, if you use social media a lot and you're exposing yourself to really good, constructive, healthy influences, then that can actually be something that contributes to your success in life. Whereas if you use it unconsciously, uh, which is what most people do, it can actually be quite a destructive influence because you're exposing yourself to just whatever's out there and it's really just coming to you and it's not necessarily there to have a constructive beneficial effect on your life. So I'm not going to talk too much about the whole you are who you ha hang out with kind of phenomenon because a lot of people have talked about that elsewhere, but I just wanted to mention that that is something that has an impact here and that's sort of what I mean or one of the things that I want you to keep in mind when I'm talking about this topic. Then another thing that I wanted to talk about is something that I mentioned in a video just recently, which is information without application is entertainment. And social media is a huge source of information. If you expose yourself to a lot of it, you're just going to get bombarded with all kinds of different information. Now, to a degree, you might just get some entertainment value out of that because you just wanted to unwind and see a few things that are going on and whatnot. And so it does have an entertaining effect on you and that's fine. But if you really are exposing yourself to a lot of uh, information from social media and it's really not something that you can apply, then it's you know a certain amount of entertainment. And if that's more entertainment than you really need to feel good or whatever, then it's going to be in excess and then it's probably going to have a destructive effect. And so in this topic of setting up your Facebook news feed to contribute to your success, the idea is that the information that comes in, if you expose yourself to it, it's more likely to be the kind of stuff that you have an application for rather than something that's just going to be entertainment. And bear in mind, once again, the other day I was talking about if you are just treating everything as entertainment, What's the quality of that entertainment? You know, is social media the best way to entertain yourself? And I actually, you know, propose that it's not. And the reason for that is that, you know, it's not necessarily high quality entertainment. People are not necessarily thinking about your entertainment and enjoy, enjoyment when they're posting stuff up. They're often just putting up whatever serves them and it's not necessarily what serves you. And so with a lot of this stuff, at best, it's just a waste of your time, but at worst, it can actually have a destructive effect on you. For example, it can bring your emotional state down, it can 
you know, interfere with your beliefs and maybe change your worldview in a way that's destructive and it doesn't help you to achieve goals and different things like that. So this is once again something that gets talked about a lot is that destructive effect of social media. So I don't really need to go into it in too much depth here other than to just point out that information without application is entertainment. And so what we want to do is get rid of all the entertainment in Facebook that's not really serving us and instead focus on information that we do have an application for. And what I'm talking about is maybe something where you learn something and you can use it and apply it in your life to move forward towards the things that you want. Maybe it's something that just makes you feel really good so it puts you in a good emotional state so that you are able to achieve the things that you want and really apply yourself at a high level. Maybe it's something that's just really inspiring and so it gives you an idea that you might wanna pursue yourself or something that you can add to your vision or something like that that makes you really wanna go out there. It could be motivating. There's all sorts of different positive effects that you can get from social media that can actually help you to achieve your goals and those would all be examples of information that you have an application for. So with that in mind, that's why I'm suggesting that you set your Facebook news feed up in a way that contributes your success rather than just letting it be what it is, which is very unconscious and has the potential to bring you down instead and hold you back in life. So really, those things that I've just been talking about so far are really what I think is the most important point of this video is that you take control of your Facebook or social media news feeds. And like I said, that's where the most value I think in this message is. But just to follow on from that with some practical tips, they're not really rocket science, so I don't think they're necessarily going to be things that you really have to hear from me. They're probably things you could figure out for yourself, but I will just quickly go through them. So what I recommend first of all is that you bring as many positive, constructive influences into your newsfeed as you possibly can. So on Facebook, that would mean things like, you know, making friends with people that are inspiring or people that you can learn from, that you find interesting, people that post things up that make you feel really good and put you in a good emotional state. So when you leave social media, you're on top of the world and ready to go and do other things from a really good place. Maybe they're people that have achieved the kind of success that you want to achieve in your life and you can be inspired or learn from them or get motivated by their success or whatever. Or maybe they're just people that are sharing a similar journey to you and you can actually you know, feel a sense of companionship by going on that journey with them. So those are some examples of the kinds of people that you either want to remain friends with on Facebook or to make friends with. And I should mention, of course, it's far more important to make friends with these people and connect with them in real life and to spend time around them in real life because that's where you'll get a much more powerful, positive and constructive effect from them. But uh, in addition to making friends with these people and spending time with them in real life, if you are going to use social media and you make friends with them on social media and you see what they're posting, then that's a way to bring that positive influence into your newsfeed. So you can do the same thing with pages uh, that are you know, businesses or individuals that are really inspiring or help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve. Groups that are aligned with the goals that you want to achieve, you can also join them. And obviously when you make friends with these people or like the pages or join the groups or whatever, you know, you have the option to follow all these people so that you're actually telling Facebook, I really want to see this stuff in my newsfeed so it knows to put in your newsfeed so you're more likely to see that stuff when you log in and start scrolling your newsfeed. So that's the first thing is bringing in a lot of really constructive influences. And just by doing that, obviously, there's only so much that can fill your feed. So by bringing in a lot of positive stuff, then you're automatically diluting whatever neutral or negative stuff might have already been in your newsfeed. So you're already on your way to having this newsfeed contribute to your success. Then obviously, the other side of this is to take out all the destructive influences and posts and things like that from your newsfeed. And so, you know, the basic level is to unfollow friends or pages or groups that have that effect in your newsfeed. And so you don't need to you know, unfriend the people or, you know, unlike the page or leave the group necessarily, you might, there might be reasons why you want to stay friends with those people or have those pages liked or be in those groups or whatever, but you don't necessarily want to see information from those sources in your newsfeed, so you can unfollow them. Now, of course, the next level, if these people are having a destructive influence in your newsfeed, are they also having a destructive influence on your life? 
And if they are, and you realize that these relationships with friends in particular are not necessarily having a good impact on your life, and in fact, they're only having a destructive influence on your life, is it worth still having a relationship with them? And this is a very personal thing that you'd have to decide on an individual basis, but there are some people in everybody's lives that we just need to stop the relationship. You know, maybe we have a discussion with them to break it off. Maybe we just distance ourselves from those people, whatever it might be. You might need to do that because if they're having that effect on social media, they can also have that effect in real life and that can hold you back from the progress that you wanna make on your journey and the success you wanna enjoy. So that's something to think about as well. So the first level is kind of unfollowing. The second level is actually just detaching, unfriending, unliking pages, leaving groups, or whatever you find to be a destructive influence. And this is something that you might notice over a period of time. You know, you might say to yourself, well, I'm going to curate my newsfeed so it's just full of really good stuff that helps me to become successful. And over time, as you're looking through your newsfeed, if that's something you like to do, as soon as you notice something that is destructive, then on the spot, you know, you can unfriend that person or at least unfollow them or whatever it might be. And you can basically weed out all the stuff as you go. So you can have a one big go through at the very beginning, but as you go, you still might notice over time, things pop up that aren't exactly what you want and you can deal with them at that point. Now, when you're doing that, something to keep in mind is that, you know, these social media algorithms, they are wired to give you more of what they think you want. So if you're scrolling down your feed and you stop and read a certain post, or if you play a video, or if you type up a comment or hit like, or you know some sort of re reaction or response at the bottom of that post, all of these are engagement signals to Facebook or whatever social media engine you're on. And it says, okay, this person responded to that. We don't really care if they like it or if it's helping their life at all. We just know they responded. If they're gonna look at that, we better serve them more of that so we keep them engaged. And that's how they all work. So if you do actually engage with these things in any way, including just spending time hovering over that post so you can read it or look at it or something, that's something that sends the signal to the Facebook algorithm to give you more of that. And that's exactly what you don't want. So as soon as you notice something that you don't really like, the key is to just cut it off straight away. Scroll past it, unfollow, unfriend, whatever you need to do, so you're not dwelling on that. And of course, instead, if you are gonna spend time on social media, it obviously valuable to teach Facebook the stuff that you do like. So watch the videos that are really gonna help you in life. You know, read the posts and respond and comment if that's what you wanna do. Like I said, the more time you spend on social media, the less time you're spending out there in the real world making things happen. So I don't recommend that you do this, but I know that a lot of people are gonna look at social media all the time anyway, so if you are, then you may as well do this stuff. So you've kinda of got those two levels. Bring in the positive stuff, get rid of the destructive stuff so you've got a much more constructive news feed that's gonna help you in life. And then of course, the next level that you can also go to, of course, is even if there's neutral stuff showing up in your news feed, if you're really serious about this, you can actually get rid of that as well. And of course, if it's neutral, you don't wanna unfriend people or unlike pages or leave groups or something necessarily because they it can be useful obviously to retain those connections but if it's not something you want to see in your news feed even if it doesn't cause a destructive influence maybe you just unfollow so that then all you see is just this really really good high quality stuff and facebook learns what you like and it gives you more of that so that you know has that constructive effect as i said so keep all that stuff in mind and if you do this, then I think, you know, if you're going to be using social media, you may as well use it to your benefit. And I think if you do those things, then it's going to make a difference, especially if you use social media a fair bit. So in Facebook in particular, in 2022 at least, uh, one way that you can actually do this that's a little bit like next level, like allows you to take a little bit more control, is there's this feature called favorites. And from what I could see, I haven't used it myself, but you can actually do exactly what I said and you can actually just slot in all the stuff that's really good and leave all the rest of the stuff out. And you've got a few other little controls that you can tweak that allow you to change the way the news feed is presented to you so it has the most positive effect on you. And this is a really good idea and hopefully that's a feature that actually gets developed further so you can take this concept to the next level and really make it work even better for you in future. So there you go. 
a little bit on why it's useful and valuable to set up your Facebook and social media news feeds to serve you, and then a few tips on how, and then of course, you know, like I said, that bit's not rocket science, and if you're on a different social media platform, there may be different features that you can take advantage of or different ways that you would do this, but the principles are basically the same. So that's my recommendation for today. Take it home with you and put it into action. As always, if you've got some comments that you want to add, feel free to drop them below. Feedback, I'm always up for it. Anything you want to talk about, any requests, just put in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and then come back again tomorrow and I'll be back with another video. So until then, have fun and I'll see you then. Bye for now.